everyone uh, in this video I'm going to explain the design of gas liquid separator so uh, if you have a gas stream uh, in which uh, there is some moisture content or uh, condensed water and uh, you want to remove it uh, so you will be using gas liquid separator so you basically uh, uh, give entry to the gas liquid separator as tangential and uh, uh, it then uh, moves uh, uh, with centrifugal force so gas being lighter uh, moves towards up and uh, is taken out uh, at the top uh, while uh, the liquid uh, droplets are being settled uh, down uh, to the bottom of the separator and uh, you can remove it uh, from the bottom uh, however uh, some of the moisture content can be taken uh, in the form of small droplets by the gaseous stream so we basically provide a DN drainer or uh, uh, mesh separator at the top uh, which basically removes uh, small uh, droplets being carried by the gas uh, with it so first of all uh, we need to find the velocity of gaseous stream uh, so we'll be using this equation equation number one uh, which basically includes the densities of uh, liquid and uh, vapor phase and uh, this constant value k so here you can clearly see that uh, K value uh, is 0.35 for D and trainer. Uh, if we are using some sort of separator at the uh, top of the um, separator uh, to avoid the carryover of moisture, and it is 0.1 uh, if uh, we are not using any sort of D and trainer. So, by substituting the values uh, in this equation number one, we can find uh, the uh, vapor velocity that is uh, 10.497. Uh, feet per second uh, in this case and we can convert it into meter per second as well so now in order to calculate the area uh, we just need to divide uh, the volumetric flow rate by area velocity uh, vapor velocity so we can easily calculate the area of the separator and then uh, diameter can be easily determined by uh, pi by 4 d square and we can rearrange it to get the diameter so we have obtained diameter as 0.6 meter now uh, in order to calculate the height or uh, length of the separator uh, so uh, we can uh, we know that uh, l by d ratio is uh, 2 to 5 uh, with 3 being optimal so we will be using uh, 3 uh, as l by d ratio so using this we can find the uh, height of the separator as 2.04 meter and then we can uh, add some space at the top and bottom uh, to uh, as a disengaging space uh, where uh, any carryover of the moisture can be uh, taken backward so uh, 0.3 meter is a uh, usual practice to add at top and bottom so it becomes uh, total height as 2.64 so that's all uh, for uh, gas liquid separator see you in the next video thank you